Hey what is going on everyone this is Wicked and today I will show you a simple but really detailed updated tutorial on how to install TWRP version 3.1.1-2 and Magisk root on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Now a huge disclaimer before I get into the tutorial containing some important information everyone who wants to install TWRP and root needs to know before attempting to do this. Your device will be completely erased after following this tutorial so if you have an important files on your internal storage, back up them on your PC. Also, eject the external SD card if you have any mounted. The procedure I will show you is simple, no need to hurry up, no need to skip steps, we'll get right to the subject in just a second and I assure you there won't be any issues during this tutorial. You should know that today's tutorial will work on Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus with Exynos processor. All the models supported are listed onto the screen right now. Benefits of installing uh, TWRP and root, lots of them. The ability to customize your Android device to the maximum level by flashing mods, custom ROMs, custom kernels and so on and so forth. If you want to know a list of top 5 mods, custom ROMs, kernels you can flash on your S8, check the videos in the card section. Along with tons of benefits, here is a list of popular drawbacks. Your warranty will be voided, Nox will be tripped to 0x one and there's no way you can revert it back to 0x0 ever again after you rooted your installed TWRP on it. That means Samsung Pay, Secure Folder and some other security apps won't work after you follow this tutorial. Also OTA updates won't work, so you'll need to flash a custom ROM in order to keep your software up to date. You'll definitely need to learn the 3 button combo to get into download mode respectively into recovery mode. If you want to find out more about recovery and download mode, check the video also listed in the car section. I'll of course show them during this tutorial but it's better to try them by yourself before so that you will get familiarized with them. Before we get cracking you'll need to activate OEM unlock under development options into settings app. This is a crucial step. If you don't have development options in settings app, go to about phone, software information and click build number 5 times. Then go back and you'll have it. We're almost done preparing for this tutorial. A few minor things to be said before though. A lot of people get really scared if something goes wrong. I'll advise you not to. Just follow my tutorial carefully and you won't need to get into any of these problems. If you do get though, write me down in the comment section and I'll help you as soon as possible. This tutorial may not be always valid. Samsung may release a new base like it did with the QG5 firmware which wasn't supported by the official TWRP. Make sure you check my pinned post in the comment section before. Down there I will write all the updates and errors that users may have encountered. Also, all files I used in this tutorial and of course the website where you should get the latest updates of TWRP and Magisk root are listed in the description. Finally, let's get into the tutorial. Okay guys, so after you watch the big disclaimer of this video, let's get into the main tutorial on how to flash TWRP and root on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus as always. The first thing you'll need to do is to get into download mode. And how do you get into download mode? Well, let me show you. You'll need to power off your device firstly. And then after you feel that vibration, you'll have to press volume down, Bixby key and power key all together until you'll get into this warning screen, as you may see here. And uh, all you have to do is to press volume up. And right now you're into download mode. You will need to connect your phone to your PC via this USB Type-C connector. If drivers aren't installed on your PC right now for the device, Windows should install them automatically, but if, if not, I'll link the drivers in the description. Okay, so right now you'll need to open up Odin 3 version 3.12.7 and as you may see, in the log section the first line says added and that's okay, that's the first sign everything is going great. If not, that means drivers aren't installed properly, so you'll need to reinstall them. Reinstall. In order to install TWRP, you'll need two files. TWRP itself, of course, the file we're going to be flashing, and the no, the no Veritai Opt Encrypt 5.1 zip. This zip, we're going to be flashing into TWRP later on, I'll be showing you that. But for now, we're going to be flashing TWRP. Here in Odin, you'll need to go into the AP section and search for the TWRP here and as you may see the binary size changed it's the actual size of the TWRP 
and right now everything is set as it should be. Now you need to pay attention. So relax, take a quick breath, <sighs> exhale, and you need to get your phone into your hand and be ready to know the combination in order to get into recovery mode. So the combination is volume up, Bixby key and power key, press them all together. So immediately after you press start in Odin on your PC, you'll need to hold up these three buttons in order to successfully get into recovery afterwards. So press start and then hit those three buttons. So maybe you it would be a solution to keep your phone right next to the mouse in order to be fast. So, 3, 2, 1, click start, and then hold the buttons, volume up, Bixby key and power key, until your device will show this logo. And right now, as you can see, you're into Team Win Recovery project. And you'll need to swipe to allow modifications. Right now, you are into Team Win Recovery project. You, you have successfully installed Team Win Recovery project on your Galaxy S8. Now, Okay, so after you got into TWRP, the first thing you'll need to do is to completely format data. Here is the step where your device will be erased. In order to do that, go to wipe and then format data. Type yes and it should be erased. Okay, so immediately after you erase the data as I showed you, swipe to unlock again and go to mount section. Connect your phone again to your PC and right now you can you are able to see on your personal computer as you can see here your internal storage which is obviously empty excepting the TWRP folder which is absolutely normal but right now you will need to copy those two files Magisk is for routing purposes if you don't want to root your device you just want to have TWRP installed that's fine but if you want to root you'll need Magisk so copy both files and now you have them on your internal storage and we're ready to flash them into TWRP, so stay tuned. Right now, go to install and search for the no Veritai zip. Select it and swipe to flash. For now, this is all you needed to do if you wanted to have just TWRP installed. You can safely install any custom ROM now. If you want to root your stock firmware though, you'll need to install Magisk zip. The same way you flash the no Veritai zip. Go to install, select it and swipe to flash. You can reboot your device and bear in mind that the booting process will take up to 10 minutes. Maybe more, so no need to worry about. So yeah, that was it for this tutorial. I hope you like it. I hope you successfully installed TWRP. If you have any questions, please make sure you write them in the comment section and I will reply to them as quickly as possible. As you can see, my device is booted up, having TWRP installed and root. If you like my video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe right on my channel for more awesome tutorials like these. And until next time, as always, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.